Hey, it's your old pal Frumark, and recently I was watching Old Smokey do a live stream of uh, The Four Fingers of Death, and as I watched him do his expert review, it occurred to me that it was no longer in my best interest to allow this ration to age any further. So today, let's take a look at Menu 6. I gotta look at it. Frankfurter's Beef. Now, I believe that Yum. this is either a 92 or a 93. I'm gonna try to stab into this without killing anything. My knife I got from John Magnum. Oh, lots of good stuff. If we take a look at the date on our Frankfurters, we can see that it's early 1993. Alright, let's go ahead with our inventory. Frankfurters, of course. I got some sugar-free fruit punch. wonder how good that is in that pouch. We'll find out in a jiff. Our Emery crackers. I got another Mars bar. The last time I had this, it was fantastic. Got some peanut butter. This is a font I haven't seen before, but it, it feels uh, absolutely perfect. It's nice and squishy. Got a little Tabasco. Got our Emery spoon. Cocoa beverage powder. Potato sticks, which I've not had the pleasure of trying before. Our accessory pouch. And this is a real treat right here. This is a freeze-dried fruit, and it looks like strawberries. I guess that there's probably going to be no giant surprises in this accessory pack, but let's have a look-see anywho. Gum, wet naps, sugar, taster's choice. Feels a little crunchy, not too bad. Uh, Non-dairy creamer, salt, teepee, and red matches. This ration does include a ration heater. I'm going to go ahead and see if she works and uh, get my wieners warm. I'm not sure I like the way that sounds. Right, let's go ahead and get this baby opened up. I'm right. right, spin this around so I can see the fill line. Well, I got it back in the uh, box here. I just wish I had a rock or something to lean this up against to. I'd be set, but I don't know. I'll find something in the garage. So while I wait to find out if that FRH is going to be a bust or not. Let's take a look at the rest of these goodies. Here's the freeze-dried fruit. I didn't get any hiss on that, but I kind of was being noisy with the package. Oh, man, look at that. <laughs> Boy, it just, just looks like compressed strawberries. I'm going to snap a little bit off of here and give it a try. I've been wanting to try one of these for a long time. Wow, 26-year-old strawberries. Absolutely fantastic. A nice, bright, tart flavor to them. Perfect. Let's get this Mars bar. The last one I had was a little bloomed, but it tasted great. Yeah, this one's about the same. It snapped in half. Bet you that's going to be good. Let's give these potato sticks a, a go. Nothing there. They look perfectly fine. Let's give one a little try here. Hmm. You know, just mildly stale flavored. I mean, it still tastes pretty good, but there's a little hint of old at the end of it. All right, let's see if we can uh, get a little hiss off of this guy. Oh, it's hard to tear. Oh, there was one. I probably was making noise with the wrapper. I don't know if the camera was going to pick that up or not, but... It's a nice little bump. I pour it too fast to get a really decent hiss out of it. Crackers are kind of broken. They got kind of a weird glisten to them. I don't think the camera's going to pick it up. I hope that's just salt, but it's a, it, they kind of look like they were wet a little bit. You know, as I think about this, this is really kind of a weird meal. Because you have hot dogs, but nothing to put the hot dog in, really. There's no ketchup, no mustard, so you're just eating plain hot dog. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I thought I hit the record button when I opened up the peanut butter, and I didn't. Anyhow... Here we got a nice glistening glob of peanut butter out onto a cracker. Let's give that a taste. That's really good. Let's pop this taster's choice. Boy, it's in there. It's pretty stiff. I'm hoping not to make a mess. That almost is a guarantee, though. I didn't tear down far enough. Golly. Here we are. That might be okay. Let's have a look at my hand. 
No, it looks perfectly fine. I'm going to go ahead and crack a cocoa, which I anticipate to be good. It feels really nice and loose inside the package. Oh yeah, that's good. I'm just going to go ahead and mix my cocoa and coffee together and have me a little, co uh, a little mocha. I have to say that this fruit punch package has kind of a damp feel that lets you know things might not be a thousand percent inside here. Let's see. Boy, there's not very much mixture. That's what that looks like. Well, we'll find out here in a second if it's good or not. I'm getting a few floaties on the top there. Let's give this a little bit to maybe rehydrate itself more completely. Well, it turns out my FRH was a total bust. I'm just gonna open this up and have a look. So I got my dogs cooking in a pot of hot water here. Actually, it looks like that's okay. Maybe I'll pour that in the cocoa. All right, here's hoping I don't have brown dogs. I just had another bite of that strawberry, the freeze-dried strawberries. Oh, that had a good hiss and I'm talked right over the top of it. God dang it. And uh, man, the flavor on that is so intense. Ooh, I'm not excited about this. Yeah, these look just like Old Smokies. Huh, well, there's really only one thing to do. Actually, they smell pretty good. They smell like a uh, nice beef frank. That's what it looks like in the middle. Actually, they have a nice smoky flavor to them. It doesn't smell rank. Let me try a little nibble. Well, it's been a couple of minutes. I ate half of one of those, and I'm not feeling any weirdness on my tongue at all. The flavor was fine. Let me have a little sip of this uh, punch here. Wow, that's really good. It has a nice, it's just a fruit punch flavor. Not overly sweet, kind of has a nice tart tang to it. My mocha like looks it. like I got some coffee still. Not really rehydrating perfectly, but we're gonna give her a sip. You know what? It's not as good as I've had out of my last American ration where I made the mocha. I don't know if the coffee's gone a little south or the cocoa just isn't as cocoa-y flavored. I mean, it's drinkable, it's okay, but it, the last one I had was really good, and this is I kind of, yeah. Those are pretty darn good. I'm tempted to eat all four of them. I'm just not feeling that lucky today. Here's the, oh man, those are. Here's our Mars chocolate. Man, that last one was good. This is going to be good, too, I know. Yeah, absolutely fine. Delicious. i tell you what's super amazing is how good this peanut butter is. I'm going to have some more of this on a cracker because it's strangely addictive how good it is. Well, let's go ahead and recap a little bit. This was absolutely perfect. That's a solid 10 out of 10. So was this. These were definitely stale. They were okay, but uh, yeah, I'd probably give those like a seven. These tasted okay, but I'm just too nervous to try to eat any more of those. The crackers were pretty typical, and this peanut butter was a 10 out of 10. So, you know, if I was actually eating this in uh, within its state, this is probably like a five minute meal to eat because you could just power down this whole thing once you got your hot dogs hot. Get over how good this uh, freeze-dried fruit is. Anyhow, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll catch you guys later.